So we're coming up on some abandoned mines out here in the Opal Creek wilderness. Got a little cave waterfall type feature over there. First one we're gonna see is just ahead of us over here. And then we're gonna come back down just below it. We have a mine down there and then some across the creek right over there. So those are what we're gonna be checking out today. So the way these miners would find their veins of rock is they'd be down alongside a creek and they'd find an outcropping of rock that looked like it would have any kind of valuable ore in it. And then they would mine into the hillside, usually on either side. Down there we have a mine under us and then we have a couple across the creek. So. This mine that we're going to check out right now is directly above that one that's at creek level. The idea being mining the vein of rock up at this level also. So we're heading into the first adit. A lot of times abandoned mines will be flooded right at the portal because all the dripping water will build up here and usually it can't flow out so not surprising to see. Past the flooded part now. Just got a lot of mineral runoff and stuff on the ground. Some darker staining here. This is as far back as this one goes. So we're gonna head out and we're gonna go down to the creek level where they first discovered the vein. So these mines are from the early 1920s. And so these little formations you see on the wall, this is about a hundred years of the minerals coming out of the wall and creating these weird wave type formations. You see a lot of that in abandoned mines. On our way down to that creek to check out the other adits, see this enormous old growth tree. And it is starting to lean.
Before we go in, we're gonna just check out this little awesome swimming hole here. This curtain of water coming down over that little cave. This is about 12 feet deep, I would say. Awesome little waterfall and rock to jump off of. The emerald colored water, which this area is known for. Yeah, you can't really ask for a more beautiful northwest spot. So we've come over on this side of the creek just to check out these two little prospects really quick. Now you can see that uh, cave formation up there where the waterfall is that we passed by earlier. Making our way over these rocks. This first little prospect here, it's nothing much. It just goes back in about five feet. But they were trying to follow the same vein of ore that they were. You can see the other mine is directly across right there in the center of the frame. And then out of view, obscured by the trees, is the one that we were at earlier. And then just over here, they tried to get to the vein coming perpendicular. Again, it's the same kind of thing. It's just it goes back about five feet in there. And it looks like they just kind of gave up on this side of the creek. back across. Now we're going to check out the main adit. It's right up there, hidden away in the bushes. So like a lot of abandoned mines, this one too has water runoff. It's created this little waterfall coming down the hillside here. A lot of loose rocks and mud coming down. This is the portal to the main adit of this mine. I like the way this one looks a lot. It's got this little kind of alcove tucked away under all these ferns and plants. It's pretty picturesque. A lot of roots hanging down from these timbers. See, there's a lot of those runoff formations. Got a little alcove prospect going back that way. A little bit of timbering. This whole mess of rocks and these formations. And then a little tunnel going back that way, that just dead ends right there, it's flooded. I'll head this way down the main passage. There's ties on the ground, so there would have been rails in here at some point, but there aren't any more. And yeah, this just ends right here, and you can see that big slash mark on the wall, that's 
the vein that they were following in this mine. And so right now we'll be directly under basically the entrance of that first one we explored. And the idea was to keep exploring along this vein of rock to see if there's anything worth mining for and extracting. These mineral runoff formations look like something you'd see in an alien movie or something, sci-fi movie. And they've all been staining the rocks down here, orange. And you have the same kind of ripply, honeycomb looking formations down here on the bottom. And this is from about a hundred years of this constant runoff. You can see it's just dripping endlessly. Looking back here, we have more of the same. Just some of those formations and then the tunnel dead ends right there, so. Definitely have the most interesting runoff formations I've seen in a mine. See some of the timberings giving way right there, and especially that front one. It's, it's all been rotting away quite a bit over the last hundred years, so. It's one thing I really like about this one is the intense orange inside due to the mineral runoff, and then you come outside and you have all this intense green, so it's a really cool contrast. So that's all there is to these adits. They're not very long distance wise, but all those strange formations in them and their proximity to this awesome section of the creek with the swimming hole and the rapids. Just a really awesome location out here in the Opal Creek wilderness.